Hey, it's Lee here from Old Nintendo Gamer and Son, bringing you the biggest and best Nintendo news on July 30th, 2020. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and give us a like. The Mario Kart World Tour Wild West Tour is live right now. It adds two new racers, Wario Cowboy and Nabbit, and driving will take part on the Calamari Desert. As we stated a few days ago, the Pokemon Cafe Mix Dragonite Special Event is now live. You have until August the 12th to encounter Dragonite, recruit it and invite it to join your cafe team. Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics has been updated to version 1.1.2. There are improvements to the stability of synchronous communication when playing online. There's an increased maximum play count for each game from 99 to 999 and there's lots of implemented fixes within specific games and a lot more. The next Arcade Archives game making it onto the Switch on July the 30th is Burger Time, a 1982 Data East game where you avoid enemies and knock up hamburgers. Priced at the usual prices of £6.29 and £7.99 in the US. Animal Crossing New Horizons Summer Update Wave 2 is now live. Takes it to version 1.4.0 and adds in the fireworks event, dreaming feature and save data backup. Also included are new seasonal items for Nook shopping and the ability to turn off guide information from the Nook phone camera app and lots more. On July the 29th, Dr. Mario World will include new stages but also its latest character, Dr. Lemmy. Another new version of Monopoly, this time it's a Pac-Man version. And whilst the board is very similar, when players pass go in this version, they'll play a mini-game of Pac-Man itself. Last week we reported on an interview with Kensuke Tanabe, the producer of Paper Mario The Origami King, as he says that Nintendo no longer allow him to modify Mario characters or make original characters that extend to the Mario universe. But it seems that a further interview with Games Raider has Tanabe saying this. From the production of Paper Mario Sticker Star onwards, we were no longer able to graphically represent individual characteristics such as age, gender, etc. in the Toad NPCs, and so it has become that much more important to convey their personalities simply through text. Koei Tecmo are gearing up for a simultaneous worldwide release for Atelier Riser 2. They also elaborated on some of the story and the ability to swim in this game will allow you to practically explore any area you can see within the game. There's much more action in the sequel, such as rope action and climbing vines. The game is around 80% complete as of today, and it will be made available for Switch this winter. <coughs> Lastly today, a little bit more information on the Nintendo leaks, and as you can see playing in the video, this was a cut Mario Kart 64 track based around a town. Enjoy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links below.